Pakistan. Well, I've lived here since 1963. Uh, obviously, there's been quite a lot of major change throughout the town in that time. Um, it's always been quite a cosmopolitan town, even going back to uh, to the 60s, and that was the first wave, perhaps, of people coming from uh, Pakistan and India to work in the textile trade. So the town is it's always been quite cosmopolitan and is getting more and more so as, as the town goes on, and then we're obviously reflecting that in the way that we report in the paper. How has the field changed? I mean, when I was young, it was a very dark, black place, big Victorian buildings. Um, certainly had a character, but it was quite dark and dismal with the uh, pollution and the black uh, sooty walls and sooty stone. In terms of the buildings and changes, I think compared to places like Leeds, uh, we're way behind. Um, in the 60s we had some fabulous buildings which unfortunately uh, the town planners decided to knock down and replace with modern buildings and you'll have Queensgate Market as one of those. Um, plus the old market which people will remember. Halifax has kept some of those old, old places in the old market and I think has probably benefited in the long term as a result. Certain sections of the town now retain some of that Victorian presence. Uh, some fantastic buildings, but we've also lost a lot of buildings. And in the 60s and in the 70s in particular, a lot of the buildings that were put up, did we really want them? And did we really want to lose the identity of, of buildings like the Old Market Hall? St George's Square is very controversial at the moment with uh, people writing into the Huddersfield Examiner. Um, basically, uh, it just looks like one big patio. Um, it is an important um, aspect of the town. Uh, people are arriving by train, obviously. The waterfall feature is very modern. It's being labelled locally as the urinal. Uh, the water features, what are they f there for? New designs coming, so we can see those now around the town. I think the most striking, obviously, the Gal Farm Stadium that uh, replaced the old town stadium and that was in 1994 when that opened. Um, obviously the university has changed a lot from its polytechnic days, it was a polytechnic going back in time and since we've got university status we've seen that succeed and flourish and in more recent years it's really really taken and we off. we have the university now, some of the university work has been absolutely excellent and you wonder why Kirklees can't follow their example. Their computing buildings and, the, um, and some of the buildings on the campus are absolutely fantastic now. Okay, might, one might say something about the original central building, but certainly it stands out. And you know that Huddersfield's got a university as soon as you arrive. The piazza is well used. Um, I'm not so sure about the grass section, which seems to take a lot of hammering. But... Um, it is an area that's well used, it's a social area, it's an area where you can relax. There are other plans to really improve the piazza area, but because of the recession they're on hold. So there are plans afoot, but at the moment, not little more than plans, and a lot of them need uh, an awful lot of private funding, which just hasn't been forthcoming. I mean, one of the th great things about Huddersfield is you can be in countryside within five minutes, and yet within another five minutes you can be eating in some of the best restaurants in Yorkshire. You know, uh, there's some fantastic Indian and one or two Chinese restaurants around and takeaways too and I think they're just about the best in Yorkshire because I've tried places in Bradford and I don't think they're as good as many of the ones here. Uh, we do have a very vibrant community. One of the positive things that's happened is that communities have been retained. Um, I live only a mile outside Huddersfield Town Centre. I'm classified as Huddersfield Town Centre and yet um, it's still a community. So I think um, it has Huddersfield changed for the better? Yeah, I suppose, I suppose it has, but I think it's a slow pace of change compared to a lot of other cities. Certainly, I would cite Leeds, which changes. Every time you go in there, you seem to see a new building spring up from somewhere. Uh, and I think it's done pretty much aesthetically pleasing, in an aesthetically pleasing way. And probably Manchester's changed an awful lot as well. Um, no doubt brought on by the bombing, but... Uh, it, it has changed a lot, but Huddersfield, the change here is always slower 